let me see behind us. Hey guys, we're here in Bali. I keep forgetting I don't need to do that. I can actually just do that. Look oh, at that, nice. there's, a, there's a flip chart by Beautiful. the pool. <laughs> if, if anyone ever needs to hold a training by the pool, then we have a flip chart <laughs> sitting <laughs> right there. And we also have a Robin. Hey! Yeah, <laughs> Robin. Oh, Robin, you should chat to them for a sec. Tell awesome. them who you are. Cool. Just pop my glass down you there. Walk, it's a glass of water, nothing else, <laughs> nothing incriminating. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> How yeah. are you all? Wow, I haven't spoken to you guys for ages. I've not done a live stream myself for a long time. Huh, who's on the line? Who's here? Say announce hello. Yourself. Huh? Announce yourselves. Yeah, announce yourselves. Who are you stalking? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not stalking. Questions. I got a whole lot of angry things. Give us some love. Screen. Where's the love button? Come on. Okay, I'm going to share this over to... So I think we're going to talk about change. We are. We're going to talk about why people never change, ever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why, they just, why they don't change. Okay, let me put this on. Regan's my... just um, sharing the link, I think. Yeah, I with, am. Or to her other page. Yeah, I am. Live now. Why you Look at that beautiful sun in the background. Never change. Mm. With, I'm going to call you a change specialist. Okay. Is that your name? No. What do you sure. want to be called? With with change changepreneur, changepreneur, I am indeed. Yeah. Oh Who's on the line? No one's saying hello. There's nine people here. No one's saying who's Guys, on the line. Say hello. So hey, say hello right now. Huh? I think that's okay. We have people that have arrived. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I said hey Erin, hey, I'm Aaron. ready for change. Awesome. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. That's awesome. Hey guys. <laughs> we're just hanging out and we were having a conversation about change and mm -hmm. I thought it'd be really freaking cool if we actually shared this. And by the way, you never know what's going to happen on our live streams because last time we did this, we were talking about coffee and then somehow we impacted like a thousand children and pretty much built a school in India yeah, through just the live like stream, that. right? It's just as fast and easy as that. <laughs> <laughs> right. It was absolutely crazy. So we were sitting here talking about change and just how so many people just don't change right they literally never change right and Robin like I mean this is you're an amazing coach but this is one of your specialties right as love a it. change preneur. love it love what is, change what does change mean to you change means going from any current state to whatever the desired future state mm -hmm. and it's doing it quickly with ease right um, it's yeah just transforming like from a caterpillar to a butterfly, whatever the butterfly looks like to you. No one wants to be a caterpillar. Mm. <laughs> you won't see barley if you're just going to be a caterpillar. Don't be a caterpillar. Do not be a caterpillar. It's no fun yeah. being a caterpillar. Yeah. So yeah, I love change because it's wow. It's taken me to heaps of cool places. It's mm. helped me get to where I am now. It's it's really transformed my life, inside out, back to front. So. Right. It's awesome and so many people's lives can just be in a better place um, and not necessarily the perfect place but in another place to where they're not you know currently it's really easy mm. so yet so many people yeah. get stuck right like and this is what we're talking about so many people don't change yet they're talking about the change and they're saying they want to change and there's a lot of people out there telling them they can change but ultimately maybe like they don't change right and it's pretty yeah. funny because I mean I was having I was chatting um, with a client on a call about this the other day and it really comes down to I believe what you believe about change as well mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. like if you believe that change is hard and you have to like work really hard for it and you have to struggle for it then that's what you're gonna get right yeah exactly whatever you're thinking internally is what's going to manifest externally so right. the harder you think something's gonna be of course it's gonna be that way it's like you can predict your own future. Yeah. <laughs> it's scary, actually. It's really scary, but cool. That sort of maybe doesn't well, make sense. It's but it's scary. It's you know, powerful. It's powerful. Let's That's it that word. way. I Perfect mean, it's beautiful word. and yes. it's powerful. But yeah, I guess yeah. I guess some people may be scared if, if they don't know how to do it, right? Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, when you start conditioning your mind to change, you can literally get to the point where you, where you think something and then stuff just happens. Like mm. we were talking about this earlier, right? You were mm. like... I just think something and then it starts showing up and it starts appearing and it's like, uh -huh. you know, give us some love or give us a yes if you would yeah, love to be able to create change instantly. If you would love to be someone where it's like, okay, cool, you know, I'd love to work on my life and actually create a little bit more change in my life because, yeah, I mean, if you're not growing, you're dying, right? Mm -hmm. There's quite a few people on here. 
And no there one's... Is. No one besides Erin has said... They're all being secret there? squirrels. Hey, Charlene. Hey, Charlene. Everyone else. Where is Announce everyone? Announce yourself. Where yeah. are you? <laughs> they're hanging Where out. Where is everyone? <laughs> they're just staring. They're staring at the screen being like, talk to us. Talk to us. Show them so the flip it... chart again. I'm going to show them the flip If you ever need to do a training by the pool, then there's a flip Voila. chart. <laughs> It just looks so funny. <laughs> oh, yes. Hey, Erin. I'll keep talking. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Share some love with us, guys. Hey, Charlene. Girls. That's awesome. Hey. So, what do you guys find challenging about change? Go on, share, share. Questions about change. What sort of changes are you guys going through? Life or business? Yeah, and, and there's really... You Thank know, you. Hey Anne, there's um there's a couple of I guess there's two different types of change, right? There's the change that kind of like creeps up and and kind of catches you by surprise, mm. and then there's the type of change that's intentional change, and they're two very different things, right? Because so many people, I mean, yeah, they change, yeah, plans change, yeah. <laughs> they change, but it's literally like, oh my god, it's kind of out of control change, right? But versus yeah. it being totally intentional change, where you go, okay, this is the change that I'm choosing to create in my yeah. life, and here's how it's going to roll out. Like, there's a very there's a big difference around that and when you actually start getting into the space of trusting intentional change then so much more stuff can flow which is really exciting yeah and then you start to plan bigger and bigger stuff bigger mm -hmm. better stronger it's awesome the bigger that you think actually the bigger you can have it's right it's, oh man I can't believe it's so easy as that just saying believing doing right in alignment with what you want to change right ah, voila voila what as easy as changing your clothes every day, right? You've got to do that. So <laughs> <laughs> it can be bigger than that, obviously. So. It can be so. much bigger than that. Yeah, but I love that as well. How you know you just you're not gonna you're only gonna grow to the extent that you actually change your mindset, right? Mm -hmm. Because ultimately, if you don't if you don't push your mindset, if if we really go off, you know, everything's created internally, which then shows up externally. If you're not if you're not shifting that, if you're not changing internally first, you're not gonna be able to yeah. change your external reality. True. Mm, true story. Absolutely. Awesome. And changing hey, from Anne. being in a government job to being myself. Wow. I love that. That's huge. Wow. That is huge. Does that mean when you say, Anne, that you're changing from a government job, so in corporate, to being yourself, does that mean you're switching into entrepreneurship? I don't want to make an assumption. That's what it sounds like to me. Mm. How do you help people be comfortable with your change, partners and family? Mm. That is such a good question, Erin. And that's something that I've been um, challenged with as well. Maybe everyone has. Every, yeah, everyone does. It's so common. Um, how do you help people be comfortable with your change? I think if you're just congruent with who you are 100% every day, and then it's no surprise to anybody what you're going to do, what you're setting out to do. If you just, just live from the heart and everyone knows about it and you're proud of it, then people, will, especially your family, will accept where you're heading. Right. Um, but and it's mostly about are you comfortable with the change? Because you're the one who has to live with you. Yes. And yes, of course, your family lives with you, but you're not going to be happy unless you're 100% you know cool with wherever you're heading right and and you've also you've got to be so clear with where you're heading and you've got to go all in with it you honestly do like if if you want to head to xyz then you have to be 100 percent committed and if you're 100 percent committed then it doesn't really actually bother you what other people think and in my eyes it's like you know you can live a life where you care about the opinions of other people or mm. you can live a life where you actually choose to go well do you know what where I'm headed and my point B or whatever you want to call that. Coco, you're famous now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. Right, whatever you want to whatever you want to call that point B, you know, you have to make a choice around that. But you can't really have both. Like you can't be living a life where you please everyone and where <laughs> hey Coco says LB. <laughs> you can't be living a life where you please everyone and where you're, you know, totally like, oh everyone's <laughs> in total approval with the life I'm living mm. and then go out and create your reality, you know, and your wildest dreams. Because mm. here's the thing, if you're actually someone who's wanting to create a massive, big, crazy, outrageous life, people aren't going to approve of that. Yeah, yeah. Just because, you know, that's not a normal thing to do because if it was normal, everyone would be out there creating mm. big, massive, crazy mm. lives. They'd be multi-millionaires. They'd be traveling the world. They'd be hanging mm. out in Bali, doing 
live streams about change, right? Yeah. <laughs> They'll be doing all this cool stuff, but the reality yeah. is, is not everyone does that, okay? So yeah. if you have that in you, and if you're like, okay, I know there's more, and I, I know that I'm destined for bigger things than this, then you can't care about what other mm, people think. Mm. And I know it's easy to say, but it's a choice, right? It's choosing yeah, to make it, that change. It really is. Um, and if you put your foot in both camps, it's just gonna be a harder, harder way. Like if you put your half, or one, you half can't your have, body in one. You can't. Yeah, you, you just can't. can't. You like, just even like if you've got one in toe mud. in. If you have like one toe in that little circle going, oh, I'll like kind of keep talking to the people that pull me down and, and mm. you know, pretend I care what I think, what they think even. It's like, you're not going to shift forward. Like even mm. one toenail mm. is one toenail too much. Like yeah. honestly, like you, you, it's black or white guys. Yeah. You're either in and you're creating massive change or you're out. And do you know what? If you're out, that's fine. You should probably get off this live stream and unfollow me. Just saying. But <laughs> if you're out, it's totally cool. Be out. Go and live a small life. Go hang out. Like, don't have dreams and desires. I don't care, right? But if you're someone where it's like, okay, screw that. I actually mm. want to create this reality that I've been mm. dreaming about. Go and, for it. And don't go hang out with the people that are yeah. telling you you can't do it. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. It always begins with a choice. We have the power to manifest. Yes, it's choice. We do, yes. Albie. Power to manifest all our des our own destiny and desires. Awesome, Alvi. That's so cool. We totally do. Erin, so, so true. true. Thank you. Change is happening. Love it. Love it. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> hey, Michelle. So I want awesome. you guys to question yourselves right now in terms of what do you believe about change? Because mm -hmm. whatever you believe about change is going to dictate not only how you change, but how quickly you change. Mm -hmm. You know, I was at an event recently in Vegas and I was talking on money mindset, right? And I finished like this two-hour talk and everyone was like, they came up afterwards and this everyone was like, oh, it's so cool. And this one lady was like, Regan, like, I get it. Like, I totally get it. And I was like, awesome, <laughs> go do it, right? And then she's like, no, okay, question though. And I was like, yeah. And she goes, well, if I do everything you've told me to do, like everything, right? And I, and I take it all and I do the money tracking stuff and I focus on abundance and I do the little things and I do the big things. And if I do it daily and if I do it for like three hours a day, how quickly am I going to change? Wow. Right? Yep. And I was like, that's an mm. awesome question. How quickly are you going to choose to change? Mm. Right? And that is literally all you. it comes down yeah. to. It really does. So here's the thing. If you have a belief around change, around like, you know, well, change is hard and like change is difficult and you have to, you know, struggle to change and it's a battle and good things take time. Like if that's what you believe at your core, Mm. That's what you're going to mm. receive. So hence, you'll be doing all the work, but at the same time, nothing will shift dramatically, right? Mm. Versus someone that believes at their core, like we both do, that change is instant, that manifestation happens rapidly, that you click your fingers and shit just shifts around you. Like if you have Love beliefs that. like that, guess what's going to happen? I mean, seriously. Like just be real with that for a sec. Mm. Can you just let that sink in? Mm. You talk. I'm going to calm down. I'm take a breath. <laughs> Love I'm it. Done. That is awesome, man. <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> so cool. Well, you transformation did. is what happens. And the more you... Um, hello. <laughs> Steve McAmara. Say hi to Steve. Come say hi. Is that... You flipped it. Yeah. yeah. Who am I saying hi to? My the community. world. Come say hi. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> This is Steve. He's he's absolutely Hello. epic. He is a leader of massive international global change. Uh -huh. Make me blush. Uh, he, he blushes a lot and he's a total rock star. I also believe he's single. Did I say that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will tag him. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for that. Oh, look, look. Alvi even said Mr. Electric. Who right. Oh, yeah, man. Mr. Electric. Of course he is. Absolutely, yes. I love it. <laughs> You're awesome, Steve. Thank you. Awesome, what was I saying? I you know. were saying something deep and profound. If in doubt, just <laughs> If in, if in doubt, just show them the flip chart. Okay. <laughs> oh, deep and profound. I don't mm. know if I do deep and profound. We um. were talking about what people believe. What people believe about change. Like what is underpinning their change. Do they believe it's easy and effortless? Mm. Or do they believe that it's like a, a total struggle and it's hard, right? I think you did that quite well. You covered off that aspect of change quite well. <laughs> like, what else really would you well, like to talk way better about than then? me. <laughs> <laughs> what questions or what sort of changes are people going through at the moment? Yeah, what do Come you guys on. want to know? What are you trying to shift and change in your life? Yeah, yeah. Or what's what are you finding hard about change? Yeah. So what sort of resistance are you facing right now? <laughs> you can answer any of these ten questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Go okay. on. Come on. Come okay. on. <laughs> answer this. Answer this. What are you trying to change in your life right now that just isn't shifting and growing and changing? Like, what are you trying to create change around, which you're actively mm-hmm. not just like mm-hmm. thinking about, but actually working on, which isn't shifting? Throw that at us, and we'll Love change. It. Yes, please. <laughs> When did it start for you, Robin? Like, obviously, change is, I mean, it's a huge part of your identity. Okay. It's a huge part of who you yeah. are. So when did you start realizing that change I is loved it. inevitable? I it. And growth is intentional. Right. Can we just say that again? Everyone write this down. Say it. Change is inevitable and growth is intentional. Thank you. It's like, <laughs> it's like the best thing that I've ever heard and I use all the time. And I'm like, my friend Robin said this. <laughs> I'm sure it came from somewhere no, else. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, look, I have for years and years been managing change um, before I stepped into entrepreneurship. I was working in corporate for, I think it was 17 years, um, doing all sorts of different projects and you know transforming global corporate companies, um, upscaling, downscaling, but focusing on not only the technical side or the process or business side of those changes, but also it was more what I became more, what triggered me and what really lit me up was the people impact. The impact of all those business changes that were going on. You know, how is this role changing for this person over here on the till? Who, who what about the person operating the system over here? How is their job changing? How are their hours affected? Like. You know, anything to do with the person, the real person with the heartbeat, mm. <laughs> how their job was affected, that's that's the stuff that I really drew um, into. That's the part where it became more complex because the process of change, you know, with anything is the same. It really is, but it becomes more complex and more like, you know, X factor, I care sort of stuff when it impacts a person or a group of people um, or the leaders involved with leading those changes, mm. um, so yeah, it was a it was a long time ago. But I um, I found my little niche, if you like. I don't mm. like the word niche, when it was around the people impact of large or even small business changes, because it, right. you know that you know you can have a process, but without the people following the process, um, there's nothing. There's no money coming into a business without the people. So unless right. the people get it right, and unless they, um, you know, gain the skills or the attitude, right. the mentality, the exactly. mindset, all that, then the change falls to the ground, and the business loses out on loses out on the money to be gained from not good, very you know? bad end of story. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so um, yeah, and you know, people, as you would know, are the most complex um, and can be the most resistant factor in changes. So. Right. There's lots of work and change. There is shitloads and of work and change. And you never stop, right? You never, ever, ever yeah. stop changing. We've got a stack of questions yeah. in here. Oh, Let's have a look. Mr. Electric. That was for Steve. <laughs> I believe change can happen and want it to happen quickly, but how to make it happen quickly? I feel it's been a struggle, resistance from self. Yeah, So, and this, this comes mm. back to what we were just talking about, right? And it, it comes down to, like, what is underpinning this and, and what do you truly believe around change mm. and your capacity to create change in your life? Because, like I said, if you at your core, if you believe that change is hard and that it's mm. difficult and it's a struggle and that nothing ever goes your way and that good things take time, like if that's what you actually believe at your core then that's what will show up like you and you will just get that oh my gosh they're watering the garden really loudly <laughs> Coco I couldn't see the hose though <laughs> it <looked> funny <laughs> oh god sorry <laughs> We have, we have the best, best staff at the villa. <laughs> okay, so I hope that makes sense. Like, it really comes down to what you believe because that, that underpinning all of that, that is what is going to project everything mm. that shows up. Mm. Okay. Believe it's a struggle, it'll be a struggle. Right. So don't believe it's going to be a struggle. Right, exactly. And, and look, if, if you're like, oh, I do believe that, just simply choose to start believing something differently, right? Mm. And choose to just start mm. thinking a different thought and, and, Focusing on that, and you know what you focus on expands, so yeah. that's going to then shift into the reality. Result, the result, too, focusing right. on the result, exactly. Okay, Erin, mm. internal dialogue around eating habits. I've just started mm. in the tribe two days ago. Hey, welcome to the tribe, hey, Erin. Yeah, super cool to have you in there. So, again, with your internal dialogue, what I'd recommend is simply to catch it firstly. You know, you can't change mm. anything unless you have an awareness Great of it, point. right? Yeah, yeah, so you need to actually get into the awesome. zone of going, okay. 
I, I'm, I'm aware of what's going on right now and you simply catch that thought and then you're gonna choose to rewire it by thinking something differently. You know, the thing, especially with eating patterns is that so many people are on autopilot, right? And mm. it's just like, it's like, it just, it's like a wheel that keeps spinning and it's just spinning and spinning and spinning and, and until you catch it, you're not gonna actually stop it. True? Mm, true, absolutely. <laughs> it's so like, it seems. Does that mean we have to stop drinking wine? Shh. Or don't tell them, don't tell <laughs> no, them about the wine. No, no wine? No, no, no. <laughs> it also, it, I think you also need to understand it, like your patterns with falling back. So if you're trying to, or you're intending to move to a different state, right? If you know that you've got certain defaulting patterns with your behavior that occur, like, um, you know, certain triggers that will make you fall back into old patterns, then you have to be aware of what those self-sabotaging things are and just like list them out, call them out to yourself. So you, as you're going through the transition from here to there, mm. you have this heightened awareness of what can actually stop you from reaching point B. Right. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's all I want to say. That. So that. <laughs> <Just> that. <laughs> So you're awesome. Okay, um, Alvi says you must see and visualize it before it happens. Totally. It all comes from within. You're right. Love that, Alvi. Catherine. Hey, Catherine. Money mindset. Been working on this lots lately. Okay, so wow. if that was your block, um, that's kind of broad. Uh, that That's really broad. But, I mean, feel through feel feel free to type through and let us know like what specifically you're working on in terms of your money mindset and what you're looking to change obviously other than more money mm. right um, <laughs> like what yeah. specifically are you looking to call into your life and into your reality hey I saw that heart I saw you you're listening you're awesome and then we'll check in on that and you were transforming children being a teacher that's epic LV, I love seeing change and transformation in my clients. Would love to hear a story of how you lead change in one of your clients. Ooh, that's a really that's a really great question. Well, look, ultimately, with the work we both do with clients, um, it's always change, right? Like, I think every word that comes out of our mouths are geared towards helping them create positive yeah, change. Sure. Um, but I mean, if um, I mean, there's lots of different ways to do this, right? And you know, if I'm to break something down like really simply as a as a random example for you, if someone's going, okay, cool, like I'm at A and I want to get to B and I want to have like this kind of result in my life, um, but I feel stuck and I don't know how to get there, right? I'd be going, okay, cool, like let's have an awareness firstly of where you are and then where you want to be and then what's stopping you. So that's when I kind of dig a little bit and I dig into this is what we we're talking about on the call the other yeah, day, right? Yeah. And we we dig into we dig into the block, right? So we look at the resistance that is there because ultimately, if you're looking to manifest something. Externally, and you're like doing the internal work to create it, but it's not showing up. There's some sort of block or resistance mm. actually pinning you to where you are, <clears throat> and and not allowing that to manifest. So. Mm -hmm. then it becomes a matter of, well, how do you deal with the block, right? And there's many ways to deal with this. Like one, to be honest, one really great way with my clients that I completely destroy their blocks is through humor. So I literally, and you can only do this when you have a huge amount of rapport with someone, but I literally pull them up and I'm just like, really? Is that really what you think? Like, tell me this honestly, right? And I just, I dive into it and I get them to a point where they're laughing at themselves and they realize the block is so silly and they've created it to keep themselves safe and to keep them where they are. But it definitely doesn't serve them, right? Mm. So I hope that answers your question. But look, everything we do Absolutely. is geared towards change. Yeah. Do you want to read the next one? Awesome. It's long. We'll see. Mindset working around different things. Generally how I see myself in money mindset as well. I'm getting there, but at the same time, I need to be grateful for what you have. Do you have any tips on how to practice gratitude? Great question. You're good at gratitude. We'll see. Oh, this is, wow. Do you have any tips on how to practice gratitude? Well... Quite honestly, I just wake up and I think about the fact that I've opened my eyes. <laughs> and then it's just, you know, moments throughout the day, I'll just look at where I am and it might be, so, so this sounds silly, no, this sounds silly, but <laughs> it might be just the fact that I'm out of breath while I'm exercising, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, the connection's weak. Sorry, I just but I just think to myself, well, to get to this point where I'm so exhilarated from exercising that I'm out of breath and I'm sweating and my mm -hmm. body's still able to cope with that, that's a miracle, even though my body is under stress. Right. Right? So I just go, well, I can do this. And then it propels me more, right? And I'm even more grateful that I can be, I'm stronger at that point. But I think it's just um, always not only having gratitude, but the appreciation for... Well, it's probably the same thing, Pre appreciation for where you are, rather than expecting 
um, you know, it's sort of like we've got to swap out our, our expectation for things to appreciating what we already have mm. and being grateful for that. Right. So to tap into more gratitude, I, like with what you're saying, it, it's really the little things, right? Yeah. It's, it's it acknowledging. Have to be the big, yeah. Yeah, and it's mm. just acknowledging that life is beautiful, and it really is tapping into the space of mm. of bringing your awareness to all that. But let me say this one thing, because you know I'm an extremely grateful person. Like I couldn't be more grateful at my core for every second moment in my life, regardless of what is going on. But I'm also extremely unsatisfied, mm. right? So uh, for me, it really is this fusion. Do you want me to hold that while you drink, drink your... She's <laughs> drinking wine. It's she's water. Not, it's water. <laughs> it's water. Um, <laughs> sounded like a guilty person. <laughs> I know. So it really is, for me, you know, it's it's having this, this balance, this ultimate balance between being entirely grateful for what you have, but at mm. the same time being really unsatisfied because you know that you have the ability to create so much more, right? And for mm. me, it's like... It's a dance and it's it's dancing between the two and it's you know it's really it's living into that space and that mm. fusion which um yeah it takes some practice but when you're there the coolest thing happens because you're never going to shift forward until you're grateful for what you have but in order to shift forward you need to know what you're focusing on so it's mm. like you start moving really fast when that actually happens okay mm. you can have it back now <laughs> i had to switch around my hair no. <laughs> I'm just preparing yourself for you guys. What's next? No, Who's what next? I resisted the nudge to let go of two large contracts as I was locked into the dollars. These contracts weren't aligned to my personal passion. Awesome for harnessing and unlocking people's potential. I have officially, I have officially given up two large contracts recently and feel absolutely free. Awesome. Woo! Already completely new pathways have emerged. That's so awesome. Yeah, Celebrate that one, Charlene. I'll be raising a toast to you tonight for that. Yeah. That's so cool. That's massive. And and look, mm. you, honestly. There's no point in making money if you're just doing it for the money. Yeah. Like they're just it will it will kill you. Like I promise yeah. you that. And I, that I've been me. there. Yeah, <laughs> well, we've both been there and yeah. done that. And hey, mm. you can make a lot of money doing it just for the money, but it yeah. kills your soul, like literally. So yeah. it's so cool to hear that you actually listen to what's important and and listen to what's within. That's um awesome, Shelley. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. What else Big points for Shelley. <laughs> Oh, we've okay. got a friend. Got Who's a that? friend. Adres, how, how are you? How are you? We're good. Amazing. Good. Good. We hope you are too. Hey, okay, welcome to everyone who's on the line. Shannonita, Melissa, Duda, Nathan. You guys are awesome. Oh, Nathan, I think Vicky's going to be here any moment, yeah, okay. actually. Yeah, Vicky's, she's literally Vicky's, like minutes away, if not seconds. I'm sure she'll I'm be almost like, like she'll probably call. she'll be like live stream. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you guys want to know? All right, otherwise we're going to wrap this up. What else mm. do you want to know about change? There's been a mm. lot of really cool stuff that we've talked about. We've talked about the fact that change is. Inevitable. <laughs> I was thinking about it. And growth is intentional. <laughs> Change is inevitable. Growth, growth is, is intentional. intentional. <laughs> Quote Robin Nicora Scott. Right? Oh, I use that all the God. time. I'm like, I have, she this does. Bad, I have this badass client and listen to what she said. And then I always forget the so words. So funny. So funny. Well, you remembered it before I did in that moment. <laughs> Charlene, That's can you awesome. talk about what you do to celebrate your victories? Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're really we, good at we're that. We're really good at that. We're really, 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 really good at that. Okay, you go first. What do you okay. do to celebrate? I love to just do something really small, like have a, a lovely meal with some mm -hmm. champagne, you know? Um, and some more champagne. Yeah, more, so more champagne. Go and um, get a massage or um, even just put up publicly what I've achieved, you know, and celebrate it with everyone mm. instead of it just being my own little party of one. Right. You know, um, sharing your successes with other people spurs and inspires others too, you know, to yeah. go, oh, wow, what, where am I at? And more consciously thinking about what needs to change for them, you know. Right. Um, so, that, yeah, that's just a couple of things I do. How about you, Regan? Oh, look, much the same, just more yeah. champagne. No, yeah. I'm <laughs> no, but no, you're, you're not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> not kidding. <laughs> no, no, look, it's more of the same. And and for yeah. me, I think what's really important is being able to recognize the small